Hey good everyone, how's it going? This is Rex here and welcome back to another gimmick tutorial and today we're going to be doing is going over some jump through platforms like the ones you guys see right here. So, and of course you know in a lot of the Mario games and like miscellaneous platformers and stuff like that. So, these are really fun to use and kind of mess around with and very very easy to implement in your game as well. So, uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and just exit out of this here and see how all this works. Game Maker will come back up. Game Maker, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have some sprites over here on the side. They're all 32 by 32 blocks. Uh, sprites do not matter. You can really have whatever you want for, you know, dimensions, whatever it looks like, whatever. Sprites are just there to simply signify, you know, that there actually is something here. So the objects, on the other hand, there actually is some importance to those. So let's go ahead and uh, start by opening up the collision just to get that over with. There really isn't anything special going on here besides the fact that it is solid. And, uh, I mean, Again, this is just the regular collision, and it's not the collision platform, so nothing here really matters. Alright, so now we're going to go inside the collision platform, the actual meat of the tutorial, or at least most of it. So we have a step event here, which means it's always going to be checking for whatever's over here in the actions uh, box, or whatever you want to call it, uh, which obviously we have some code right here. And what this code is saying here is, is if obj underscore player dot bbox underscore bottom is larger than bbox underscore top, um, curly brace or start a block, whatever you want to call it, uh, solid equals false, else solid equals true. And I wrote a little comment right over here that kind of explains more on what this does. So it says checks for player and determines if solid or not, meaning that uh, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with this little B box thing here, uh, the B box stands for the boundary box, which is this little thing right here, the modify mask area. So if I were to go to like uh, manual and then rectangle, right there, that little box would be where the collision on this sprite would be. So it's checking for that and basically seeing if that is on top or below. Uh, well, I guess more on top of the uh, uh, jump through platform. And if it is, then solid is going to equal true. And if it's not, solid's going to equal false. Alright, so that is that. Now, actually, you know what, I think it's actually checking for below. I don't know, I always get confused on that. But anyway, it's it's checking whether it's below or on top, and then determining whether it's going to be solid or not. So uh, now finally, in the player object, uh, we have a step event. Uh, this is just all my movement stuff and my gravity. If you guys already have your own gravity, slash movement, slash jumping, whatever, uh, you don't need to put this in. In fact, the jumping is actually kind of faulty, and mainly just for tutorial sake, so I would recommend not using my jumping. Uh, so, yeah. All right, and uh, collision with the regular collision. Now, we're actually going to see this in the collision with the jump through platform in just a sec, but here's the collision from regular collision. Simple move to contact stuff. Now, this is the collision with the jump through platform. Uh, basically says if other dot solid, so if the other object, which is obviously going to be our jump through platform, um, is solid, or solid equals true, then our collision code is going to be activated. Hence, basically making it act like any other, you know, collision that we have in the game already. So that is pretty much how it works. So it's just checking to make sure it's solid, and obviously if we're on top of it, it's going to be solid. And, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I guess with that said, and all that, enjoy your jump through platforms. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, hopefully it helped. And, uh, until next time guys, until next tutorial. Oh, really quickly, I just want to get this out there because... I don't know, um, just because, uh, for those of you guys who have a Google+, Plus, you can go ahead and follow me on Google+, Plus or whatever, because, or maybe for those of you guys who don't, um, I do have a Google+, Plus now, and I do use it every once in a while just to post, like, if I, if I'm going to post a tutorial, um, I'll usually post, like, the engine and the code and stuff earlier on my Google+, Plus. so for those of you guys who don't want to wait for the tutorial, you guys can check that stuff out, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, just thought I wanted to get that out there, uh, yeah. So until next time, guys, something like tutorial. This has been Rex Murray, and uh, I'll see you guys then.